Hello, I'm Doug and this is the Taste and Sensibility channel. And today we're at Fresh Cheese episode number 24 where we're looking at Queso Fresco, a Mexican style cheese. You've probably had it in a restaurant somewhere. So before we get into this, please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing on this channel. Leave a comment down below, leave a question, and subscribe to the channel. And when you click that bell icon, you'll get notified whenever the new videos are posted, usually Mondays and Thursdays. So Queso Fresco is one of the cheeses that Liz Thorpe mentions in her book, The Book of Cheese. And she puts it under the mozzarella gateway because it's high moisture, unaged, tastes like milk. I'm calling this set Fresh Cheeses just to be better clickbait or more understandable to people. But this is an ingredient cheese, really, and goes into cooking applications. You wouldn't have put it on a cheese board or anything, but here I have some crackers because the house is overrun with crackers right now with all those cheese tasting. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get my notes of the cheese plain. And also with some crackers and then in a little more natural application. But this is very crumbly. I cut slices, but it's you can tell it's granules or particles. Really, they were falling apart. And I bought this in a grocery store for maybe three or four bucks. Ten ounces. So here it is on a wheat, wheat cracker, a, a Triscuit. Salty because of the cracker and the crunchiness of the wheat cracker kind of overwhelms the mushy, soft texture of the cheese. The cheese is very mild. It's grainy and granular, tastes like dairy, creamy, milky. Uh, you can tell there's some salt in there, but it's not heavily salted. Not like the ricotta salada from a few reviews back. Or that uh, queso hondureño, which is very salty. So this has a nice texture and nice mouthfeel. But it is a little grainy. I wouldn't quite call it gritty. It's not hard. But there are definitely particles. So the taste is wonderful and texture is pretty good and I'm sure it would change in cooking or if it's in some sort of dish you might get a different vibe from it. So it goes okay with the crackers but the cheese doesn't have a texture that would support that. If you put this on a cheese board it would just be a crumbly mess. And it's not all that exciting of a flavor. It's a mild dairy note that complements other things. So it's getting along well with all the crackers. So I'm glad I took a picture of this because I absolutely butchered the packaging trying to get it out. It comes in this half circle. The circle. Now it's a half circle. That's a little awkward to handle and deal with and uh, show on camera. But there's lots of brands, and this is what's in uh, one of my local grocery stores. Sakik, Ka no, Kasik, Kasik, Ranchero. I don't know why it says Ranchero brand. Oh, okay, brand. Queso Fresco. So I did crumble this up to put it on a to use it in a dish, a food application. So I just ran it over a coarse grater. And it crumbled right up. Some big pieces fell off and I crumbled those in my fingers. So it falls apart pretty easily. And then I put it on a tamale with some sauce. And uh, when heating, it didn't, it sort of melted, but you wouldn't call it melty. It does not look like cheese whiz or Velveeta or any of those more liquid things. It just, there are little flecks and they melted a little bit on the hot steaming tamale with a little sauce on top. 
So that's what my application is going to be here, is just trying to pick out the cheese flavors in this spicy, porky, corny tamale. I'm just going to start at the other end. So it's good, I'm getting all the flavors. <laughs> the dairy is a little cooling touch, actually. So I can just barely pick out the cheese notes with all the other strong flavors here. But it's a great contrast to all the other things here. The acid of the tomato and the sauce and the corn and the pork. It's seasoned somewhat inside the tamale. The dairy notes that I'm getting, mild though they are, are a nice uh, contrast to all those sharper flavors. So I'm just barely picking them up, but it's good and uh, it's a good thing to do with it. So I don't know, all the things that this would go into in Mexican cooking, I've mostly seen it on top of things. And I don't often look inside to figure out what all the inside stuff is. So I'm uh, pleading ignorance and how this is used in Mexican cooking, other than being a nice garnish on top. It looks good. I like the looks. So our cheese reviews are winding down. I am only planning one more cheese to do and then one more episode on fresh cheeses and cuisine. And then we'll be moving on to coffee, which uh, of course everyone knows is a very stimulating topic and quite necessary to all countries' economies. I can't stop eating this. So I should have talked about this a little bit more. So it's made with part skim milk, grade A milk and skim milk, sea salt, and enzymes. So all the stuff you want in cheese, and none of the stuff you don't want. I hope I can make some sort of sense out of this mess that I've just created on, on video. So, there's not much cheese on here, but I can't stop eating it. Mm. So, let me get that out of the way. Hold up the package again, or the, what's left of the package. This is Cacique. Ranchero brand, queso fresco. I'm sure there's a zillion other brands. So if you do your own Mexican cooking, you're gonna need some of this sometime. So as I said before, please give this video a thumbs up. Please leave a comment or question. And please subscribe to the channel and click that bell. So we'll see you one more time for a specific cheese. And then we'll dive into foods containing these fresh cheeses. Adios.